Let me start by asking, uh, right now, as we chat, how are you feeling physically? I'm feeling much better. Um, my symptoms have been minor overall, although they have been <clears throat> they have been an odd. I mean, I've never had uh, chest chest tightness like I um, like I've had, and uh, my wife has had the same. Uh, we've both felt fatigued. Um, uh, you know, I was at, at slightly elevated temperatures, although not bad uh, fevers, uh, cough, not, not a bad cough, but, you know, real sore throat. So all of this is consistent with a minor case of COVID-19. And the reality is that this disease manifests in most people uh, something like this. And yet we're still, you know, if we have it, we're still contagious. I mean, frankly, we're contagious with regardless of what we have. And so we got to take it seriously. When you felt that tightness in your chest that has now abated. Can you describe a little more what it felt like? You said it, it was unlike anything you'd experienced. Is there any way to characterize it? You know, it. every time I took a breath, there was just a sort of pain um, in my, I don't know, my lungs, uh, especially sort of more towards the bottom. And um, and, uh, and, and I, you know, would wake up in the middle of the night just feeling, uh, like really sore, but clearly in the inside of my, uh, of my body. And, um, I would get winded just kind of walking up the stairs, which is not usually the case. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. And, uh, I even tried to go for a run, uh, which was probably not smart. Uh, yeah, when I, I have to say when I saw you run out for a run and this was, this was after you were getting better, right? Well, a little bit, yeah, but not better, and but definitely not better completely. And I mean, I just felt completely wrecked uh, after this run. And I, you know, I try to work out six days a week, so there was obviously something uh, going on. But um, but you know, the good news is that uh, Liz and I are both feeling better. And the best news is that our eighteen-month-old daughter Emmy doesn't have any symptoms at all, which again is consistent with this particular disease, where a lot of respiratory illnesses. Uh, affect the young and the old alike. Uh, this one almost always doesn't touch the young. Do you have, and, and in a way, as I ask this question, it, I don't know how how astute it is, given that we know the virus is incredibly contagious, given the amount of people that you must see on a daily basis, but do you have any thoughts about situations in which you might have contracted it, or is it impossible to say? Well, for me, it's tough to say because unfortunately, I've been in a lot of situations where I might have contracted it. I mean, obviously, members of Congress have it. Uh, we meet a lot of constituents in Washington, D.C., uh, especially during the spring. So there were very, very busy offices, uh, even while I was calling for the Capitol to be shut down. Uh, I also took a trip to New York City uh, a few weeks ago. So uh, there are a number of places where I might have gotten this, even though uh, we as an office have been following strict protocols and uh, washing our hands all the time. And my whole team has been working remotely for the past two weeks. You're on the men now, obviously, which is great. What was your response when you called the VA and talked to your PCP and were told that even though it sounded like you probably had it, you couldn't get a test? Well, look, it's frustrating because obviously there are people who are testing positive for this, even though they're asymptomatic. They're not having any symptoms at all. People like Senator Rand Paul, uh, we both have symptoms and yet we can't get a test. And, and that's just not right. Uh, I wrote to uh, the vice president a month ago and said, we've got to dramatically step up our testing uh, because that's the only way to figure out who has this and to stop uh, spreading it. Uh, right now, we just need to to test people um, so that we know where it is, how far it's gone, and people can understand exactly how they should uh, how they should take care of themselves. So it's frustrating. It's frustrating on a personal level, but I also don't want to take a test away from someone uh, who more desperately needs it. So you are self-quarantining until this coming Saturday at least, correct? That, that, that's right. If, uh, if things continue to get better, um, then it looks like we'll be all set by Saturday because the rule, according to the doctors, is seven days from when your symptoms start to improve. And, and our symptoms really started to improve on uh, this past weekend on Saturday. So uh, that's apparently the, the rule, but we're going to be awful careful until then. And then I think the addendum to that, if I remember your statement correctly, is and 72 hours after you have last had a fever, correct? 
That's correct. And, uh, you know, the good news is I don't have a fever anymore. Uh, so again, we'll be monitoring that carefully. We have a thermometer, so we take our temperature every single day. Uh, because the other thing that you hear about with this disease is sometimes you feel like you can be uh, getting a lot better and then it can take a turn for the worse again. So, you know, our immune systems are the only weapon that we really have against COVID-19. And uh, my wife and I are trying to sleep as much as we can, uh, even as we're both still working from home. Uh, we're trying to stay healthy. We're eating a lot of wholesome home cooked meals. And, uh, you know, we are uh, trying to get a little fresh air when we can, obviously being careful not to, to run into anybody. But, um, but, you know, being outside a little bit, I don't think hurts either. Is there anything I didn't give you a chance to talk about that is important as you size up this experience personally? And, and I guess this experience in the context of what's going on culturally right now? You know, I just want to reiterate to everybody that if you're having uh, symptoms of this disease, or frankly, of any uh, respiratory illness right now, we've all got to be careful. So you might be young and not have a severe reaction, but you can't spread this to other people. And so you've got to follow the advice very carefully to stay at home, to self-quarantine, to take care of yourself and your family until you get better. Congressman Seth Moulton, thank you for chatting with me, with WGBH, and I hope you keep feeling better in the coming days. Thanks, Adam. Be well. All right, you too.